Hey, welcome back to GS Pro V2 Tips. And today we're going to be talking about SGT and how to register for a tour, how to register for an event, and let's talk a little bit about the different types of tours that are out there. Now, this video assumes that you have already signed up for SGT and you're a member. You've paid your fees, you've logged in, everything's good to go. You'll notice I am logged in, life is good, and I want to get you started on to getting active in tours. So right out the gate, you can see we have a menu items up here at the top. We have the different tours that are available. We have squads, which are basically subsets of different collection or users that have similar interests that want to hang out and see their own customized leaderboard. We have the World Golf Ranking leaderboard, and we also have clubs. If you have a, a simulator at home and you and your fellas, or you have a simulator business and you want to have your own club with your own events for your own private uh, uh, endeavors, well, that's what clubs is for. And I'm actually going to do a special video on what clubs are, how they're used, how to administer a club, and how to interact and what clubs look like and what all that is. And so that's going to be coming. Look for another video here soon. Now, as you scroll down into SGT, these are some active events and currently for the SGT tour. Now, if I want to know what the active events are for the Auto Putt Tour, or I want to know what the active events are for the Par 3 Tour, and of course, whatever the Dogfights Tour is going on. I typically play in the Web Tour. Now, as you scroll down further down the page, you'll see all the different tours. One thing I want to point out is that the SGT Tour has recently been renamed. It used to be called the PGA Tour. And so we renamed it for obvious reasons. We don't want any um, copyright infringements. We don't want any cease and desist letters. So the, uh, the PGA Tour of old in the new winter season for 2023 has been renamed the SGT Tour. So let's quickly talk about these tours. The web tour is for those guys who really don't hit it more than uh, uh, 250 yards. They don't hit the ball harder than 145 miles an hour typically. And the club, the, t the, the, the courses are selected, the tee boxes selected are 6,000 yards or less typically. If you hit the ball more than 145 miles an hour and you score less than negative two on your leaderboard on your round, then you are going to be removed from the web tour and moved up or promoted to the SGT Tour, which is around 6,500 yards. And then when you get uh, too good over there and your handicap drops, I think, to a negative eight or better, you're going to then be shifted on over to the PGA Pro Tour, where the big boys hit, where the, uh, the Pro Tour is going to be 6,500 and up, 6,800 or so. If you don't want to putt, or you have a launch monitor that does not support putting, the Auto Putt Tour is for you. Land on the green, you don't putt. If you're outside of 45 feet, you automatically get a three putt. If you are inside 45 feet, you get a two putt. And if you're inside 10 feet, when you drop that ball on the green, you're gonna automatically get a one putt. Each one of these has a learn more button, which will further explain each one of the tours and there's the um, limitations of the web tour as i pointed out okay moving on enough of about the different tours that are out there please take a few minutes to look through all the available tours and in order to do so view all tours and you will see them all clearly listed out with an explanation for each one of the tours now Something to point out, you can see here, join the web tour, or join the tour, join the tour. If you want to participate in the web tour, then simply 
find the tour you want to participate, the web tour in this case, and click on join the tour. Now, before you can register for an event, you must be a member of a particular tour. So you click on join the tour. Now you can see, bam, I am now a member of the web tour, which is the winter 2023 which is going to run between yesterday and April 15th. And that's when the summer tour will begin. Thanks for your registration. Now you'll see the web tour button has changed to leave the tour if I no longer want to participate. So I have a demo event. Let's view all the tours. Let's go down here to the Sim Golf tour. I'm going to click join the tour. Now that I am a member of the Sim Golf Tour, going over here, I can see the events. See the event is now has a register. So just because I joined the tour doesn't mean I'm automatically registered for an event. So let's take a look real quick. As you can see, in the tournaments, I have my web, SGT, Pro, and Auto Putt. Part three and tips, all my tours are there. So as you can see here, I have several events that I've already registered for. If you don't have the golf course that's necessary for the event, simply download to play. While it's downloading, let me show you a few things about um, SGT and looking at a particular event. If you click the trophy, it'll bring up the current leaderboard of that particular event. It's a two round event, round one, round two. But you can also look at the setup, the configuration of that particular event. So we click on view, you'll see the round one is set to 10 stem, it's set to calm winds, Soft greens, normal fairways. Round two is an 11 stem. The greens are faster. The fairways are normal and the greens are a little bit hotter than they were before. And you'll also notice uh, that the wind is breezy. So it's a little tougher on the breezy. All right. Something to keep in mind when you're playing on um, that. Now you'll also notice here that this has a closest to the pin setting here. That's a new feature for um, the SGT. So the hole five is going to be played as closest to the pin if you want to get involved in that particular setting as well. Also, if you want to look at your scorecard, click on the scorecard, click view. I haven't played yet. Um, so here's the leaderboard. If you want to click on his scorecard, please, you can feel free to look at his, how he scored, Greens, fairways and regulation, all the stats you need for the particular round. You want to look at the stats for that particular player. You want to look at the shot data for each and every shot that was taken during round one and round. Looks like he hasn't finished round two yet. All that information is available to you. So please, once you join, again to recap, Register for the tour, then go to the tour, register for the event. I can join the tour here too. Register for an event. After that, go on over to GS Pro, play your event, load it up, and you'll notice that all the settings for you are there. You can't touch any of the settings, you can't change them. They're displayed for you. Um, you can turn putting assist on or off. That is the only thing that you'll be able to manipulate. I hope this video has been helpful. If you want to be helpful for me, please click the like button, subscribe, share my videos, tell others about the wonderful tips and tricks that are out here for version two of GS Pro, the best simulator golf software available.